All right, chest shoulder day. It's always a fun day. Um, I actually am not gonna have as much fun as I normally do because I've been dealing with a bit of a bum shoulder. So I thought it'd be interesting to kind of take you through my shoulder workups. I'm still able to do all the stuff I want most of the time, um, but there's a few different movements that seem a bit restricted. I'm not sure exactly what I'm dealing with, but it's kind of an ongoing self-assessment, self-diagnosis. Um, I know that there's no major tissue damage, but just certain things have gotten super tight. I think a lot of my internal rotation of my shoulders is limited, and uh, I tend to have certain, certain sections of the range of motion that uh, just super painful. So I'm gonna show you how I modify certain things to still be able to get through the workouts. Just work around it. And I think a lot of times recovering from an injury or even just something that's not necessarily an injury, just a little you know restriction or tightness or deficiency. Um, there's a lot of ways to, to just work around things, keep you in the gym, keep you doing your workouts. I think so many people are just scared that they're gonna make themselves worse. And uh, that's not even a inkling of a fear of mine. Just because I know how to modify movements, I'm not creating a ton more pain and restriction and tightness. I'm probably only helping the situation. So we'll show you how that goes. Uh, and we're just gonna kind of document pretty much the whole thing. So. All right, so I know people are probably like, what the heck are we doing here? But this is called Voodoo Floss. It's a kind of a smash and floss slash compression and floss type maneuver type mobilization for the joints. I like to use it for my shoulders when my shoulders are feeling a little cranky or I feel a little impinged. But what you do is you just wrap that compression band right around the joint. Shoulders a little tricky to do, but once you get it nice and tight, it's going to cut off the circulation and make you feel kind of funky. But then you're just going to take your arm through all different kinds of range of motions, all the different little nooks and crannies that you think you could possibly get in that day. Just really try to mobilize through it. And it just kind of pushes everything together and then makes it stretch and makes all those little sliding and gliding surfaces kind of work together. And uh, I don't know what that is. Anyways, you know, it really helps open up the shoulder range of motion like crazy. It's I'm a huge fan. I've been a huge fan of it for a long time. Whenever I got a little cranky shoulder, I start using it and a lot of times it helps a ton. So I'm gonna take you guys through a little prehab rehab routine. Uh, something I do pretty often. I don't always do all of these. Just things I've found that hit the right stuff to get my shoulder nice and stable. Mobility, stability. Before I'm gonna get into more of a push type day. All right, coming back in with the voiceover, I'm gonna start here with this shoulder health quad set. So I kind of coined this the shoulder health quad set because it's four exercises that I have a lot of my clients and patients and stuff do. Um, but between the banded over and backs, banded pull apart, uh, the serratus punch slash row, you really wanna just punch that straight out, kind of mimic whatever punching maneuvers you're gonna be doing or whatever pressing maneuvers. And then you really wanna roll back and squeeze, but hitting the serratus like crazy with this exercise is great for helping kind of optimize shoulder mechanics. Then I'm gonna go right into a banded face pull. Another one of my favorite uh, shoulder health exercises. So with that band, you wanna pull it apart and back. You're kind of pulling it right towards your teeth, that kind of a thing. And uh, soft wrists, but really strong shoulder blades and kind of squeezing those shoulder blades straight back. <clears throat> and then after that, I'm going right into, these are wall slides. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing my elbows into the wall and then I'm sliding my hands straight up and back down and I'm really kind of squeezing those shoulder blades. You're going to feel a nice burn kind of in your shoulder blade region, maybe even into your armpit. And then I'm going to do a little lift off. That's going to really activate the lower trapezius muscle, which is just going to help with all kinds of shoulder stability. All right, now we're finally ready to kind of actually start slinging some weights around. So I'm going to start with just a little lateral raise here to keep me nice and warmed up. And, uh, and then I'm going to go into some presses. A little decline press, the hammer strength machine. I love the hammer strength machines because they take a ton of stability out of it. I got zero pain with this. So when I'm here and I kind of torque in just the right way, no pain at all. So here we go. 
So when I say torque in, I'm trying to create kind of this rotational stability through the shoulder girdle. And I'm really trying to lock those scaps. I'm pinning my scaps down and back, and then I'm torquing the bar like I want to bend it. Like I'm trying to bend the bar in front of me. Now I know that the hammer strength's a little differently, but imagine me trying to like bend those bars downwards even more. And that's gonna lock my scaps in. It's gonna lock that rotational stability in, and it keeps you from getting super pinchy in the shoulder. Alright, so start with a decline press. We did an incline press both over in the hammers. Now we're gonna do a more flat bench dumbbell. I'm avoiding the barbells for now just because I like the dumbbell to have a little bit more freedom of motion. I can get a little deeper in the range of motion, I can control it a little bit better. Got more symmetry from side to side, so we're gonna do a little superset here that I love. All right, I know I said it was a push day, but I love to throw in some rows here and there just to help me stay balanced out, stimulate the rear delts, and still kind of hit shoulders. So, you know, it's kind of chest and shoulder day, push day, but I like to round out the shoulders too and throw some rear delt raises in here. So I'm just gonna do a uh, multi-angle chest fly just for time efficiency. And then I'm also gonna suicide that with a quick tricep extension. That was a good workout, babe. For sure. Pretty good. No shoulder pain. Hell yeah. Shoulder feels good. <laughs>